Myself is ruler, ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler, ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler, ruler of the universe. What is sin? What is sin? Sin is insanity. It is the means by which the mind is driven mad and seeks to let delusions take the place of truth. Sin is the home of all illusions which stand for things imagined issuing from thoughts from thoughts which are untrue. A madman's dreams are frightening and sin appears indeed to terrify and yet what sin perceives is but a childish game. How long, O oh Son of God, will you maintain the game of sin? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? How soon will you be ready, be ready to come home? Perhaps today there is no sin, creation is unchanged. Would you still hold return, hold return to heaven back? How long, oh holy son, holy son of God, how long? Myself is ruler, ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler, ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler, ruler of the universe. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm Willie, forgiveness teacher of the Ozarks, here on, uh, what is today? Um, well, let me get my... September the 10th of 2023, Lesson 253 in A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students. Myself is ruler of the universe. Whoa, what is that all about? Well, it's talking about how that the power of choice has never left you. And that he'll, he'll explain. Let's just look at it. Myself is ruler of the universe. And we're reading from the original edition in A Course in Miracles. It is in Lesson 253. It is impossible that anything should come to me unbidden by myself. It is impossible that anything should come to me unbidden by myself. Even in this world, it is I who rule my destiny. What happens is what I desire. What does not occur is what I do not want to happen. This must I accept. For thus am I led past this world to my creations, children of my will, in heaven where my holy self abides with them and him who has created me. Myself is ruler of the universe. So, Whatever happens to you, even if you're not aware that you made the thought, you may not be aware of it. It's a dream anyway that we're going to wake up from. The only things that are not dreams are, are, is love. Anything you do in love will maintain forever. And anything that you receive that's, in, that's loving or joyful, which are the same thing, will, are eternal. That's the real world. All the things that are happened that are a result of uh, attack and anger and sickness and pain and death are, are not even real. But, but even in the dream, we're the one who makes the choice. There's no one outside of us that can make the choices for us. You are the self. The prayer says under myself as ruler of the universe. 
You are the self whom you created son, creating like yourself and one with you. Myself, which rules the universe, is but your will in perfect union with my own, which can but offer glad assent to yours, that it may be extended to itself. Myself is ruler of the universe. Now, this may be one of those lessons that for some people is really difficult to accept because you are so accustomed to believing that you're being affected by the winds that are coming from outside your own choices. And so you feel like you don't have any power because you're being forced to do something or, or something happened to you that you, nef that you never would have wanted to happen. But you're not looking at it with a big enough picture. And you may not understand the choices you made initially, but you can just be at peace and allow uh, what is to be and begin to see what is. Anyway, myself is ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler of the universe. A really wonderful lesson. We'll, 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 we'll talk more about it. Our, last, our text reading today is going to uh, go into some of this detail too. So, um, we're, we are read, where are we at for today? Paragraph 58 and chapter 26, the transition. And that's under the section review of principles. And we're ready to begin paragraph 59, but let's get a run and start and, and start with paragraph 58. Remember how it began? Here does the son of God ask not too much, but far too little. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, uh, let's take a moment and say what is going on around the world today. And uh, I'm so glad you've come to join me in studying A Course in Miracles. Uh, thank you. Blame it on the Large Hadron Collider Day. You know, you can blame it everything. And so we've got a, a holiday, an observance. <laughs> blame it on the Large Hadron Collider. And, uh, you know, just to, to blame people not realizing that they're the initiator of everything that happens in their world. That's what our lesson, I am the ruler of the universe, is all about. So there's really no one else to blame. But for the humor of it, blame it on the Large Hadron Collider Day. Uh, day of the Homeland, that's Germany holiday. International Creepy Boston Dynamics Robotic Horse Day. <laughs> International Makeup Day. National Grandparents Day. National Hot Dog Day. National Hug Your Hound Day. Jed, come here. Come here, Jed. <laughs> Let's see, oh, Jed, come here. You meet the, come here, come here, come here. Hello, Jed. Say, just say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay, go on, now go on, go back away. Now, thank you. <laughs> Hug your hound day. National Pet Memorial Day. Racial Justice Sunday. Uh, so be it, and that's spelled S-E-W, so be it. Uh, remembering, it's, it remembers Elias Howe, who was granted a patent on this day in 1846 for the mas for the sewing machine. And some people call it the sewing machine day. So be it. <laughs> Sustainable house day. That's an Australian holiday where people open their homes up to invite people in to show them different ways to live sustainably. Uh, using less energy, more comfort, using products that uh, gracefully recycle to the earth without being um, a, a nuisance for our, 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 our progeny. Swap Ideas Day. Uh, that's a nice, nice holiday. Just a day to open your doors and swap ideas. Uh, TV Dinner Day. <laughs> and World Suicide Prevention Day. And, you know, when you think about our lessons for today, myself as ruler of the universe, it may be a big jump for a lot of people to make, but all death is, is, is uh, your own choice when you die, how you die. And it may be at a level that you're not aware of in the, in the experiential world, but at some level, you're the one making your choices. And we, that's why we want to spend those morning of, you know, a few minutes in the morning and a few minutes in the evening, 
quiet, with an open mind, letting your thoughts be still so you can begin to get a handle on what you've been creating or making. He uses the word create in A Course in Miracles to refer to uh, what uh, the Holy Spirit is making or what love is, is creating, where if it's the ego making something, it, we, it, he doesn't generally use the word create, he uses the word make. Okay, and let's see, I wanted to talk about a, another edible landscaping uh, persimmon. This is also an American persimmon, and it's the Proc American persimmon, edible, edible landscaping. Large fruiting, mild flavor, ripening very early before fall frost at the nursery. Will drop when ready to eat. Could be the best native persimmon for the early season for sale or home use. A great choice for zones five since it ripens its fruits before it gets too cold. Space 20 foot circles, zones five through eight. All right, well, that's your proc, which is a Diasporus uh, virginiana. Diet, is it Diaspirus? Dyrus, well, I didn't write it down, but I, th I think it's, it's, yeah, I did write it down. Dyra, Dy Diospirus virginiana. Okay, now let's go look in our text reading. Remember, keep in mind with you this idea, I am ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler of the universe. Each of us can say that about our experiences. Let's see, let's start in paragraph 58 of chapter 26. Here does the Son of God ask not too much, but far too little. He would sacrifice his own identity with everything to find little treasure of his own. And this he cannot do without a sense of isolation, loss, and loneliness. This is the treasure he has sought to find, and he could only be afraid of it. Is fear a treasure? Can uncertainty but be what you would want? Or is it a mistake about your will and what you really are? Let us consider what the error is so it can be corrected, not protected. Sin is belief attack can be projected outside the mind where the belief arose. Here is the firm conviction that ideas can leave their source made real and meaningful. And from this error does the world of sin and sacrifice arise. This world is an attempt to prove your innocence while cherishing attack. Oh, catch that. This world is an attempt to prove your innocence while cherishing attack. Its failure lies that you still feel guilty, though without understanding why. <laughs> Isn't that something? So you're going to still feel guilty, but you're not going to know why now. See, it'd be far better if we just said, well, you know, I feel a little guilty, but I think I'm just going to sit here and not attack and figure out what's going on. And things would be shown to you. That's what we want. That's why we want those hourly remembrances throughout the day to remember to stop and ask for help to re-perceive what's going on so that we can see a, a real world that is filled with love and ask, and joy um, uh, aspiration of all the good things is what I was going to say. Okay, so this world is an attempt to prove your innocence while cherishing attack. Its failure lies in that you still feel guilty, though without understanding why. Effects are seen as separate from their source and seem to be beyond you to control or to prevent. What is thus kept apart can never join. 60. Cause and effect are one not separate. God wills you learn what always has been true, that he created you as part of him, and this must still be true because ideas leave not their source. Such is creation's law, that each idea the mind conceives but adds to its abundance never takes away. This is as true of what is idly wished as what is truly willed. Because the mind can wish to be deceived, but cannot make it be what it is not. To believe ideas can leave their source is to invite illusions to be true, without success. For never will success be possible in trying to deceive 
the Son of God. For never will success be possible in trying to deceive the Son of God. <laughs> and that's something we're protected whether we know it or not. 61. The miracle is possible when cause and consequence are brought together, not kept separate. The miracle is possible when cause and consequence are brought together, not kept apart. The healing of effect without the cause can merely shift effects to other forms, and this is not release. God's Son could never be content with less than full salvation and escape from guilt, for otherwise he still demands that he must make some sacrifice, and thus denies that everything is his, unlimited by loss of any kind. A tiny sacrifice is just the same in its effects as is the whole idea of sacrifice. If loss in any form is possible, then is God's Son made incomplete and not himself. Nor will he know himself, nor recognize his will. He has forsworn his Father and himself, and made them both his enemies in hate. 62. Illusions serve the purpose they were made to serve, and from their purpose they derive whatever meaning that they seem to have. God gave to all illusions that were made another purpose that would justify a miracle, whatever form they took. In every miracle all healing lies, for God gave answer to them all as one, and what is one to him must be the same. If you believe what is the same is different, you but deceive yourself. What God calls one will be forever one, not separate. His kingdom is united. Thus it was created, and thus will it ever be. A united kingdom is the way it was created and the way it will ever be. Now you can choose not to see it, but that's just your choice to be deluded, not to be choosing what's in reality. But, but even that, God will save you from. And, and eventually, ultimately, you're going you're gonna to know that you are united, and so is everyone united with you. And that's what this course is coming to help us to, to bring about sooner rather than later. Paragraph 63. The miracle but calls your ancient name, which you will recognize because the truth is in your memory. And to this name your brother calls for his release and yours. Heaven is shining on the Son of God. Deny him not, that you may be released. Each instant is the Son of God reborn, until he chooses not to die again. In every wish to hurt, he chooses death, instead of what his Father wills for him. In every wish to hurt... He chooses death instead of what his Father wills for him. Yet every instant offers life to him, because his Father wills that he should live. <laughs> 64. In crucifixion is redemption laid, for healing is not needed where there is no pain or suffering. Forgiveness is the answer to attack of any kind. Forgiveness is the answer to attack of any kind. So is attack deprived of its effects, and hate is answered in the name of love. To you to whom it has been given to save the Son of God from crucifixion and from hell and death, all glory be forever. For you have power to save the Son of God, because his Father willed that it be so. And in your hands does all salvation lie, to be both offered and received as one. Remember, what you give to your brother, you're given to yourself. In your hands does all salvation lie, to be both offered and received as one. 65. To use the power God has given you as he would have it used is natural. It is not arrogant to be as he created you and to make use of what he gave to answer all his son's mistakes and set him free. And that one really applies well to our lesson today because you might think it's arrogance to think that um, I myself is ruler of the universe. But look what he says. 
to use the power, the power of choice, the power of your, your identity as a son of God, as one with God, and with all your brothers and sisters, one with love, to use the power God has given you as he would have it used is natural. It is not arrogant to be as he created you or to make use of what he gave to answer all his son's mistakes and set him free. But it is arrogant to lay aside the power that he gave and choose a little senseless wish instead of what he wills. The gift of God to you is limitless. There is no circumstance it cannot answer and no problem which is not resolved within its gracious light. 66. Abide in peace where God would have you be and be the means whereby your brother finds the peace in which your wishes are fulfilled. Let us unite in bringing blessing to the world of sin and death. For what can save each one of us can save us all. What can save each one of us can save us all. There is no difference among the sons of God. The unity that specialness denies will save them all. For what is one can have no specialness, and everything belongs to each of them. No wishes lie between a brother and his own. To get from one is to deprive them all. And yet to bless but one gives blessing to them all as one. And the last paragraph for this section, 67. Your ancient name belongs to everyone as theirs to you. Call on your brother's name and God will answer, for on him you call. Could he refuse to answer when he has already answered all you call on him? Let's read that again. Your ancient name belongs to everyone as theirs to you. We're all in the family of God, the one name. Call on your brother's name, and God will answer, for on him you call. Could he refuse to answer when he has already answered all who call on him? A miracle can make no change at all, but it can make what always has been true be recognized by those who know it not. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? A miracle can make no change at all. But it can make what always has been true be recognized by those who know it not. And by this little gift of truth, but let to be itself, the Son of God allowed to be himself and all creation free to call upon the name of God as one. That last sentence again, the last two sentences. But it can make what always has been true. Oh, yeah, a miracle can make no change at all. But it can make what always has been true be recognized by those who know it not. And by this little gift of truth, but let to be itself, the Son of God allowed to be himself, and all creation freed to call upon the name of God as one. You call upon your brother for help, you're calling upon God. When you call upon God, you can call upon your brother. We're all one. Okay, let's go look at our, our, our uh, reading once again, our lesson. I, myself, is ruler of the universe. It is impossible that anything could come to me unbidden by myself. It is impossible that anything should come to me unbidden by myself. Even in this world, it is I who rule my destiny. What happens is what I desire. What does not occur is what I do not want to happen. This must I accept. For thus am I led past this world to my creations, children of my will, in heaven where my holy self abides with them and him who has created me. And the prayer under myself as ruler of the universe, you are the self whom you created, son, creating like yourself and one with you. Myself, which rules the universe, is but your will in perfect union with my own. Myself, which rules the universe, is but your will, God, in perfect union with my own, which can but offer glad assent to your will, that it may be extended to itself. That last prayer one more time. You are the self whom you created, Son, creating like yourself and one with you.
Myself, which rules the universe, is but your will in perfect union with my own, which can but offer glad assent to yours, that it may be extended to itself. Myself is ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler, 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 ruler of the universe. What is sin? What is sin? What is sin? Sin is insanity. It is the means by which the mind is driven mad and seeks to let illusions take the place of truth. Sin is the home of all illusions which stand for things imagined. Issuing from thoughts, thoughts which are untrue. A madman's dreams are frightening, and sin appears indeed to terrify. And yet what sin perceives is but a childish game. How long, O oh Son of God, will you maintain the game of sin? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? Shall we not put away, put away these sharp-edged children's toys? How soon will you be ready, be ready to come home? Perhaps today there is no sin, creation is unchanged. Perhaps today there is no sin, creation is unchanged. Would you still hold, would you still hold, return to heaven back? How long, O oh, Holy Son, Holy Son of God, how long? How long, O oh, Holy Son, Holy Son of God, how long? Self is ruler, ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler, ruler of the universe. Myself is ruler, ruler of the universe. Myself is the deciding aspect of the universe. I'm the ruler. I'm the one that controls my destiny. So let's ask the Holy Spirit for help so that we can go in the way that makes us happy. Myself is ruler of the universe.